dear students today we are going to study the camera degree it is 30 degree and 180 degree camera degree rule 180 and 30 degree so let us first see what is this degree of camera placement this 30 degree rule the 30 degree rule is a convention for camera placement to ensure the suitability of shots recorded for continuity editing. The 30 degree rule is a basic film editing guideline that states the camera should move at least 30 degrees relative to the subject between successive shots of the same subject. And changes in the image size can be shot in two ways. That is, uh, a camera. Uh, the camera uh, moves directly towards the actor without any change of camera angles, and this uh, you know will facilitate the continuity editing, and it it will not affect any shift in the frame. If the camera moves less than thirty degree. The transition between shots can look like a jump cut, which could jump the audience and take them out of the story. Let us see what is this jump cut. A jump cut is a cut in film editing in which a single continuous sequential shot of a subject is broken into two parts. The audience might focus on the film technique rather than the narrative style. So when the camera angle changes between shots, the change must be more than 30 degree. So that will create, uh, you know, uh, creating a significantly different uh, angle on the characters. This method also ensures continuity editing. And if the, if the change of angle is less than 30 degree, it will end up in jump cut. So why this 30 degree rule is important? The main benefits of, of the 30 degree rule are to keep a distinct similarity to each one of your cuts and to create a more seamless flow to the scene. And this rule lays down a specific approach for shooting a scene and moving from mid shot to close up and vice versa. Changes in image size can be shot in two ways. So this is the first one. The camera moves directly towards the actor without any change of camera angles. And this will facilitate continuity editing as it does not affect any shift in the camera. And the second one is when the camera angle changes between shots and that change must be more than 30 degree creating a significantly different angle on the characters so this is shot one shot two so when the camera moves you know it should be that uh, when the camera angle changes between shots the change must be more than 30 degree Understand? See, when the camera angle changes between shots, the change must be more than 30 degrees. So, from here, if you are planning to change the camera here, it should be more than 30 degrees. And this is also 30 degree rule. You can see, imagine all these are cameras. So, it must be 30 degrees. You can see the angle is drawn here clearly. 30 degree. So, 30 degree rule states that the camera should move 30 degrees around the same subject to avoid a jump cut. This works hand in hand with the 180 degree rule which we are going to study now. So, next we are going to see this 180 degree rule. In film making, the 180 degree rule is a basic guideline regarding the 
on screen spatial relationship between a character and another or object within a scene. Uh, when you film a scene using separate shots, it is important that uh, people understand where everything in the scene is. You can use uh, the 180 degree rule together with uh, looking space and eye line match to help them. Uh, that is a 180 uh, rule, uh, you know, uh, uh, that is imagine uh, you are looking at a scene from, I will show you that pitch, pic picture. Just imagine that you are looking at the scene from the side. Okay. You can see the whole scene. If, if you look at, look at one character, they are on the left hand side of the scene facing right. So the other character, the second character is on the right hand side of the scene facing left. So you could just show your scene in uh, this particular scene, the conversation between two people in long shot but that would mean uh, that would uh, mean you know we could not see a facial expression of these two characters or details of what characters are doing uh, very well so it would also be you know quite boring because the camera position doesn't change you can use different shots like short reverse shot close-up shot and big close-up shot to show their expressions to show their facial expressions so it is much more interesting if you get you know closer uh, closer shots and use a separate shots uh, such as uh, mid shots and close ups uh, it will be uh, interesting so it is best if the camera moves uh, uh, around uh, so it is almost full on uh, on uh, to the characters uh. so this way we can see the expressions and identify with their emotions uh. So what is this 180 degree rule? 180 degree rule is a basic guideline regarding the on-screen spatial relationship between a character and another character or object within a scene. By keeping the camera on one side of an imaginary axis between two characters, the first character is always framed right on the second character. And why is 180 degree rule? important. The 180 degree rule is called the axis of action. The 180 degree rule enables the audience to visually connect with unseen movement happening around and behind the immediate subject and is particularly important in the narration of battle scenes. This picture which we discuss now. So I'm moving on to the next picture you have to imagine this as the director's line this is called director's line or or the line or axis of action so 180 degree rule ensures consistency of the spectator's perspective so in other words it is a method of filming action in order to ensure visual continuity from one shot to another so the continuity line is this is the continuity line or imaginary line or director's line or the line uh, or axis of action. So we have to imagine that there is a line which separates it. This is a 180 degree. So we need to keep the camera on one side of the line. You can see the camera 1 is placed here, 2 is placed here, third camera is placed this side. So if you break the rule, you have crossed the line. So if you break the rule, see again the fourth camera is placed here. This is crossing the line. Okay, this is wrong. So this placement is wrong. This is crossing the line. In the diagram below, the camera needs to stay in the blue shaded area. So camera has to be placed in the blue shaded area. The rule also applies if the character is looking at a thing rather than another person. It could be a thing or a person. But still the rule remains the same. Camera should not cross this 180 degree line. So this line of action. Camera should not or cannot cross this line of action.
So this uh, horizontal axis of action is uh, considered uh, to divide the screen into two semicircles. Uh, so you can see this uh, semicircle and this uh, sir, semicircle. So this, uh, you know, this horizontal line or this uh, axis of uh, action is considered to divide the screen into two semicircles, and this rule ensures that there is no disorientation felt by the spectator in viewing uh, viewing uh, uh, shots. See, uh, to put it simply, it maintains that a shot of a subject from one side, uh, one side should not uh, be followed immediately by a shot of the same subject from the opposite side. So, violation of this rule is referred to as crossing the line. Where the viewer, you know, feels disoriented as the subject will appear to have, you know, reversed his position in the frame. So the 180 degree rule ens ensures uh, a spatial consistency and uh, the coherence of our characters uh, besides facilitating continuity editing. And just moving into the previous... Uh, Diamond. Yes, sir. this. The 180 degree rule states uh, that the camera should stay on one side on imaginary line. This is the imaginary line. So, here both the 180 degree and the 30 degree rule is discussed or given in this picture. The aim is to allow the filming to stay interesting but whilst not breaking the continuity of the shots. So, to avoid confusing the audience, this rule is usually broken, especially in cases such as conversation and action sequences. However, sometimes the rule may be broken for effect. For example, if the aim is to purposefully disorient the audience, it may be used to set the scene. So, here camera usually stays on one side of 180 degree axis to preserve viewers sense of space and uh, see this blue shirt uh, is this left hand side and yellow shirt right hand side and you can see when uh, this line is crossed so yellow shirt comes this side left hand side and uh, blue right hand side so this this is this will happen so this will actually disorient uh, you know the viewers uh, or the spectators will be disoriented as a subject uh, the subjects you can see the subjects the two subjects here blue shot yellow shot and here yellow blue uh, they have reversed their positions uh, in the frame so in the first frame if you see blue is blue shot is this side and the second shot blue has changed this position so the shot has reversed so to avoid this confusion it is always advisable to place the camera 180 degree axis so another diagram camera 1 to 180 degree and here this side and if you are going to place it that see here the camera has crossed 180 degree and this is wrong and here I stop making next class. Thank you.